Hello, my name's Stephen Edwards and I'm Technical Support Manager for UK and Ireland for Kenwood. And I would like to show you a couple of the features of the 3000 series radios that are really, really very, very useful for end users. The first one is best shown by switching a radio on. So we're just powering this radio off here. And as the radio comes on here and it powers up, beeps to say it's coming on. This is a mixed mode channel. And then it pops up and can announce which channel it's on. And if you notice on there as well, when that powered up, you also had a green indicator on the top of the radio here. So as if you're using this radio belt worn, you can look down and see that you're on the green channel, but you've also got an optional voice prompt, which will tell you which channel you're on. Now, the nice thing about the voice prompts is they are completely configurable by you, the engineer, or in fact, by the end user. And they are programmed by simply importing WAV files or by creating your own directly from KPG D3. And there will be another separate little a uh, short video which shows how to do that because it is very, very simple. And you can also import from existing configs into uh, your new config all of your other voice prompts. So how does it work? As you change channel, then a voice prompt will be played or not. So if we see when we go to a Kairos channel, there's no voice prompt. Go to the next channel DMR here, channel. which is a DMR channel, and we have a voice prompt. An analog channel and mixed mode channel. Okay, so that's very good. The other thing is, if you quickly swizz through the channels, now the beeping is saying that it's reaching the end channel, mixed mode channel, but it only plays the voice prompt when you stop turning. So if you've got a lot of channels to go through, you can go quickly around and it will only play the last prompt, which is the one telling you the channel that you're actually on. Now, you can slave this with the light bar as well. So as when the channel becomes active, and if I put it on the correct channel, so if we select the analog channel here and the analog channel on both radios, as I key up, you'll see the red light bar illuminates. And when this radio responds, also that red illuminates. So as if you're using your radio, you'll become used to the fact that the light bar comes on for the particular channel. So it's far less likely that a user will accidentally remain on an incorrect channel. And this is one of those little small features which is incredibly useful for the radio user. The light bar and voice prompts are available on all of the radios, including the non key pad and non-display radio, which is probably where it's most use, because obviously then you don't have a display to see which channel you're on, so the voice announcement works well. If you prefer, you can simply have a voice announcement, which is default, um, you switch on and will just tell you which channel and zone you're in. But it's far better to be able to record your own prompts and to uh, then add those in for the specific customer's channels. Unfortunately, a lot of engineers don't like to hear their own voice. And as you see, these have got my recording in them. And what a number of customers are doing is actually using a text-to-speech. So as you've got a sort of robotic voice that's being announced, and that's perfectly good. You can use any WAV file. You can also have particular sounds. So as if you've got a customer that wants to go to an emergency channel and it will just go DDA as you arrange, as you come to the emergency channel. You can also use the same voice prompts for other functions within the radio and you can switch those on uh, and have standard voice prompts or then have your customized voice prompts which of course means you can use any language or any terminology that fits better with the customer. For more information on how to use this and what's available, please visit the Kenwood website. Kenwood.